Yeah. I like this bike. Now I'm very happy. What's up? Happy New Year, everybody. Um, on the way to San Juan right now. I'm really stoked because I'm picking up the new bike. Javi from Spoke X is going to be delivering it to me right now at the trailhead. This bike we've been working on for about two months, trying to get all the parts together. And so thankful to Spoke X, uh, Element 6, TRP. I want to thank DVO Suspension, who's been supporting me from day one. Yoshimura, Better Bolts, Tannis Armor, and of course Forbidden. I uh, hope I'm not forgetting any other companies. I just really want to thank everybody that helped me uh, put this trim bike together. I mean, I've had like a lot of different companies hit me up to ride their stuff, but I don't ride anything that I don't like. Nobody pays me to ride any of their stuff. Some things I get, um, for free sometimes I get for a discount but every single part that I have on the bike is parts that I personally want on the bike I have not seen the bike yet picked out the color with element 6 Bokex has sent me a few teaser pictures but I haven't seen the, the, the bike fully built the plan was to take this thing down some gnarly stuff and really test it out I uh, wanted to hit the steeps today but uh, we got rain a couple days ago. It's probably too muddy there right now to ride it. But San Juan is one of the few places that's open. It drains really well and it never gets muddy. Made up to uh, San Juan. I'm gonna check out my bike for the first time. Yeah. What's up, man? Damn, that shit. Holy shit, dude. That shit looks dumb. Oh my god, dude. That shit looks dumb. I'm a little worried. Oh shit. Damn. Oh, it's gonna that get dirty. Sick. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, it looks dope, man. It's hard to make my own. No Shit, way. You got a link in there? It's a... Uh, yeah, for a mullet. Okay. All right, so Javi is the one who built this for me. So if anything goes wrong... It's all me. <laughs> all right, so quick bike check. This is the Forbidden Dreadnought. I got the DVO Jade X, the DVO Onyx Fork, TRP DHR Evo brakes, or the TRP rotors. Yoshimura pedals, one up dropper, one up bars, Yoshimura stem, ODI grips, Schwabi Big Buddy on the rear, and then Magic Mary on the front. And then I got the uh, E13 Helix cassette, and then the KMC chain. First time trying out the TRP, it is the TR12 uh, derailleur. But yeah, and yeah, I also got the 5 dev cranks. And then the wheels are built by SpokeX. These are SpokeX carbon rims laced to uh, I-9 Hydra hubs. So yeah, and then this paint job was custom done by Element 6 and it just looks just so dope. As you can see, it looks like black, but then in the sun, there's sparkles in it. There's just a ton of colors in there. They custom match the Forbidden logo to the forks as well. But yeah, I'm super stoked on it. So now that it's all pretty, I'm gonna go get it dirty. All right, I forgot my gloves. I have Casey's spare gloves. This is gonna be the first ride on the Forbidden Dreadnought. I wish I I'm super that. stoked on how everything turned out. It's gonna be my first time riding the uh, TRP drivetrain. Shifting where it's at, I just gotta get used to it. I always prefer the Shimano like trigger shifter here, but I, I'll, I'll get used to this. All right, here we go. Going San Juan Trail, falling. Oops. Oh, I'm falling. Connor, first time on the forbidden dry knot. Oh, shifting is super crispy. Oh, my bike's gonna be dirty. You know, this ride. I'm having a hard time buying the, the shifter. Yeah. Yeti climbs better. 
inspired to do that. Yeti, I feel like, has the best pedaling platform. Ah. Alright, so, going over chunk. I don't know about the bike absorbing everything, but it's a little clean. Still feel it, but it does feel good. I'm not really familiar with this trail, so it's impossible for me to compare how it feels. So I'm gonna ride this trail maybe once a year. There we go. Yeah. One more back there. I got one more behind me. All right. Should have went the other way. <laughs> Definitely want to take it down some gnar. I feel like that's where it's going to shine. Right. I do feel like the more you push it, or the bigger the drop, the more this bike soaks up the chatter. I'm having a really hard time finding these triggers for the shift. These tires are nuts. Doing good on this wet, rooty stuff. Oh shit! No, 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 no. <laughs> Fuck! Hang on, hang on. Yeah, I just didn't want to touch my bike, dude. Can you grab my bike? Grab my bike. I got it. <laughs> I got you. Oh, my foot. My foot. <laughs> Huh? Yeah, I hit his wheel. I think I just got a little nick right there. Fuck. I had I just held my bike up so it wouldn't fall on the rock. I put my foot down and then it's just a slippery ass rock. My foot just slipped off and I fell backwards. Tried a lot of climbing. I guess I get to test this bike. I made adjustments to my shifter. Put it more forward so it's easier for me to reach now. You could definitely tell coming off a of Yeti that it's harder to climb with this bike. All right, so my GoPro keeps shutting off again. This piece of shit. I got it. I'll follow you. Phone uh, Casey. Hopefully no more hikers or climbers. Oh, fucking GoPro keeps shutting off, so I just swapped uh, batteries and see if that helps. I never have any issues with this GoPro up until like two months ago. It might be the cold weather, but it's not even that cold. It's like in its 50s, maybe high 40s. I love these TRP bikes though. Let me grab. The shifter was bugging the hell on me the first section, but since I moved it, I've been able to find it. And it's been good. Oh shit! There we go, there's some chunk. The bike is eating it up. There's a kind of a loud clinky noise in the back. Not sure what that is. Might be the idler. Got through that stupid climbing section. Whoa! Well, my brand new pretty bike is dirty now. This is a lot of climbing. I forgot why I don't like this show that much. Then once we start going down, then I remember why I like this show. All right, that was a horrible climb. I think we made it. I hear a bunch of people up here. This is a cocktail rock. All right, I just adjusted my levers. They out too far. I like it closer to the grip. All right, here we go. I made some adjustments to my cockpit. So it definitely feels a lot better. Got my shifter where I want it. My levers for my brakes closer to the grip. Feeling good. I gotta put on the Freedom Coast levers when I get home. All right, have a good one. All right, up and over. Loop. All right, play time. I do like like how 
like stiff the back is when when I when I crank, it fucking holds it. I get a lot of torque, which is dope. I feel like the Yeti is a little bit softer at the beginning stroke on the rear. So I'm surprised how that feels. Drops, feels good. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, this bike feels good now. Definitely better at speed. Yeah, I like this bike. Now I'm very happy. You never know when you buy a bike without test riding it. So I lucked out. I definitely feel like it plows through chunk better at higher speeds than low speed. How many are you? Just me. Okay, have a good one. So there's only one way up, huh, Casey? Yeah. Wow, that sucks. Should have brought a bell. My bad. Got I think it's two more behind. Yeah, we were warned. Yeah, dude. All right, follow Casey. Yeah, yeah, how, how, far, how far back are people? This is right here. Probably a bad idea for riding this trail on a holiday. It's a Monday, but a lot of people are off today for New Year's. Hold speed, get speed fast. Ah. The rear is really stiff, so I can pump it. Alright, this section gets pretty fast, I remember. I gotta switch back. Rider. How are we going, guys? One more behind. Okay. 43, 44. How, How many riders you pass? out there. Nope. There's a fast section. These are dope. The tires are sti sticking a lot better in this dirt. How you doing? Alright. Have a good one. one. You too. Last one. Last one. Coming. What's up, what's up? Down, man. Yeah, so many switchbacks. My fingers are numb. Have a good one. That's on the last one. Shit, Connor. Shit, Casey. All right, so I'm gonna use Connor's GoPro because my stupid GoPro keeps shutting down. <clears throat> but I was saying how it's difficult to do a review on this bike on this first ride since this trail's not that gnarly. It's pretty much just flow the whole way. But the bike felt really good. Definitely felt a lot better going fast than going slow. One thing that I don't like about it is that the bike doesn't pedal as good as the Yeti, um, but that was kind of expected. Um, it doesn't feel as poppy. Um, that's the other downfall, I would say, on this first ride. I had issues with the shifter at first, but I just moved it forward, and now I, I like the way that it feels a lot better. I also threw the uh, levers back closer, so they grab here and here. That felt a lot better. Um, I still need to get little things dialed in. I'm going to put the seat up a little bit on the front. Um, brakes, of course, the TRPs feel amazing. 
Um, one thing I really like about the bike is that the rear is really stiff. So when I go to take a big pedal to get speed, it, it just grabs and rolls really good. Um, it's really stiff on the back. I don't know how it's going to feel on like the big drops and things like that. Um, it definitely doesn't feel like the rear tire gets out of the way on chunk when you're going slow. I felt every chunk, it felt like almost almost like a hardtail. But the faster you go, the more smooth this bike feels. Other bikes, um, I, I could say that they feel better going fast, but this bike, it feels way better the faster you go or the, the over chunk and stuff like that. But um, I'm really stoked on it. Ne hopefully the next ride we're gonna be down some really gnarly stuff and, and really test this bike out. All right, so when we got back to my car, I realized I did not have my remote control. So Casey's driving me all the way back up the mountain and uh, we're hoping that my remote fell out when I got out of the car at the top. Well, we drove all the way up here and it's not here. <sighs> all right, so Connor went back on his footage and found oh, where we, I, I fell and saw my keys on the grass. So now me and Casey are gonna go back and look for it. And then we ran into Hunter from YT. He's gonna join the fun. We probably have like a good hour before it gets dark the clouds are dropping rain in a in an hour as well <sighs> always drama with our eyes huh <laughs> all right so i'm following hunter making the best out of it Woo. my uh gopro keeps turning off though Probably. Stays on. All right, just turn the GoPro back on. It's a different route than what we took earlier today. Uh, it's more direct. We ran into some guys that told us. Oh, I don't know when it turned off. Oh. Damn it! <coughs> that was fun. Yeah, that was, that was okay. Fun. You want to go for it? Right here. Where is it? Hell yeah! <laughs> There it oh, is. Yeah. <laughs> Am I go for one? Yeah. Yeah. Casey's around there. That's gonna suck. So big lesson for me, everybody out there, make sure you zip. Okay, the thing that sucks is now we gotta hike all the way back out. But I'm just happy I got my keys. I'm so grateful that Hunter and Casey came up with me because I would have got lost going back. Which way? Straight? Alright, now we're gonna hike up. <laughs> Thanks guys for going back up with me. So going down this was like one or two minutes. Going back up is taking forever. I get a little bit of downhill before the GoPro turns off. Almost to the car. All right, we made it out safely. Nobody got attacked by bears or wild animals. Okay. Yeah, dude. Cheers, bro. You. We yeah. found them. Yeah. <laughs>